I would like you to please join me in recognizing Charlotte Codman from TCP. Technical Institute. 
<laughs> now, those of you that remember or recognize that name, you can do the math. I'm not going to help you out there. Okay, while teaching at DCTC, I attended the University of Minnesota and earned my master's degree. You know, looking back, at one point I was a Sunday school teacher, yes, I was a dance teacher. Like I said, I always wanted to be a teacher. Note that in the aforementioned chronology, I started out with grade school because I didn't have the opportunity to go to kindergarten because the town I lived in didn't have kindergarten. So just as a little side note, I would eventually like to go back and go to kindergarten <laughs> <laughs> so that I too could benefit from all the lessons outlined in the popular book, all I really need to know, I learned in kindergarten. <laughs> Quite frankly, I don't think you really ever know all you really need to know. Maybe that's why I've dedicated so much of my life to education. Earlier I told you that educators do not go into the educational field for awards or money. They go into the field because they have a calling, so to speak. They want to help others succeed. They can't wait to see what you students can accomplish when you set your minds to it. I view my role as an educator as one where I have an opportunity to help individuals <coughs> discover their talents, overcome what some individuals feel are their limitations, and many of those are self-imposed, guide them to achieve their potential and celebrate their successes. I don't want to be a bystander. I want to be a positive participant in my students' lives, hoping that they will follow my example and be a positive partner and a positive influence in other people's lives so that the cycle will continue. Life can be challenging. There's no doubt about that. We all face hardships, difficult tests, and we all have stories to tell. Over the years, I've gone to students' funerals. I've attended students' weddings. I've received birth announcements, seen some of my students hired for their dream jobs, seen others promoted, yet I've seen other students lose their jobs. I've seen them come back to school to retrain. I've seen their children grow up and come to school. And I've seen their mothers come to school. And I've even had some mothers and daughters in the same class at school. Right? I've seen others that have gone on to continue ed their education and have had very successful careers. I just love it when a former student calls and wants to hire one of our current students to work with them. There are so many people to thank beginning with the student that submitted my name for this amazing award. But if I did it individually, we would be here for an indeterminable amount of time. So instead, I would like to express a huge, huge thank you to all my students. <coughs> Every single one of them has enriched my life, and for that I'm truly blessed and grateful. I would also like to thank my fellow educators, all the support staff, the maintenance custodial staff, and the administrators, for providing a safe, nurturing environment where I have the freedom to do what I love, which is to touch other people's lives. I've seen many changes throughout my career, some in technology, thank like heaven, <laughs> no more blackboards, and can only imagine what things will be like in education in another four score and seven years. <laughs> One thing that hasn't changed, though, is the joy and the pride that the instructors feel when a student grasps the concept, when they master a skill, or they reach beyond what they thought they could accomplish. When they succeed, we succeed. So again, thank you for taking the time to recognize my work, touching my life and my heart with this prestigious award.